So this guy creates one of the best presentations possible. And he uses one small trick that I will teach you how to use and we'll try to recreate it for free. As you can see, he creates very simple illustrations with the same characters and he uses AI to create emotions and actions that help tell a better story. So how do you actually do this? So I've been sitting in my AI class very confused about what I will actually do. Until I got a very good idea. Yeah. What if I'll try to recreate this prompt for everyone so we can all create better stories with AI? The goal was very simple. Make it as effective as possible and as easy as possible to use. And that's actually very easy with ChatGPT4. You just take a picture of the character that you want it, insert it to ChatGPT4 and let him create a very detailed description of this person. Then you just ask it to create a cartoon version of this character and tell him the action that I'll be doing. Sitting in a computer class in university and he just got an idea. Light bulb. That's it, this is the picture you get. But ChatGPT4 is expensive. That's why we'll try to create it for free in ChatGPT 3.5 and use Playground AI, which offers 100 free images per day for you to create images in. This was, however, harder than I thought. The limits of ChatGPT 3.5 are much worse than they used to be, I think. It can't really follow that many instructions. You can't really put negative keywords in, so if you tell it not to imagine an elephant, it does. If you tell it not to use metaphoric language, like a description of a book, it will, of course, use metaphoric language. And also, it, because of the lack of understanding, it does have trouble with conflicting tasks. If you tell it to create a description under 50 words and each sentence after under 5 words, it just get, it just doesn't know what to do. And there is also the problem that it sometimes creates a different outcome, but the simple trick is to hit regenerate and you can get a new answer. The prompt itself is actually very long, but I will try to break it down in pieces and make it as easy as possible for you to use. The prompt itself is actually pretty long and it uses three different categories. We'll create a description for a wide angle shot, a medium shot, and a close up shot. And like this, we can create more images and more emotions for our story. So let's just break it down. If you're interested in how this prompt was created, in the beginning, we just say environmental white picture and between 50 to 100 words. And then we try to describe what ChatGPT is actually supposed to do. We use language like as if describing a police report or as if describing a photograph. This way, ChatGPT will take all the sources that it has on this and try to match the style, which means not really any metaphoric language, only describing the outlooks of a person. And another very important part is use simple and clear B-level English. Not because it would be very complicated, but because the image generator that we'll be using, it's easier for him to understand easier language. And the next part is actually just describing every single thing that we have. For example, we tell it to describe a jacket, if present, from the description below, which I'll come to a bit later. T-shirts, blouse, jacket, colors, trousers, footwear. So this way ChatGPT has to describe all parts of the person, from head to toes. And it can't skip the environment of the picture. This is very important because for the medium shot we'll be creating, it doesn't actually have this part. We slowly start adding instructions for ChatGPT, so provide detailed descriptions and stay consistent with the prior details. Repeat description from before. This way ChatGPT doesn't create three different descriptions, but it actually creates a description of one person from three different styles. For the last part, we create a close-up shot. So we need description of eyes, their color, their shape, the nose, and the mouse, its size, its shape, and expression, I would probably delete this. Keep in mind that you still need to check the outcomes and delete every single part that creates an emotion, because what you will want to be doing later is you'll be adding emotions. And I'll show it to you on the next slide. The last part of this prompt is actually your input. So your description of this image. The person is a 23-year-old young man with blonde curly ponytail, blue jeans, and a red flannel. Easy enough. So we take the outcome from ChatGPT. We input it into the image generator, wide environmental picture. This individual is a 23 year old man with a blonde ponytail, blue eyes, wearing denim, blue jeans, and a red flannel shirt. He sports black, black, black leather boots. No accessories or tattoos are visible. He has a slim build. 
This way ChatGPT created the rest of the details that I didn't find necessary, but they are very necessary for the image generator to understand what, how the person looks like. And because there's everything from head to toes, it has to create the whole picture. The green part is actually what we wanted to create. So the action, the new action that you want this person to be. Guy sitting in a computer class in university, confused. Simple motion. You ask it to create four pictures and choose the best one. For example, for me, it was this one. And like this, you can have a whole new story. It also does have its limits. If you use the free version, you are running on slower regeneration. Uh, you do have all the styles available. For example, for me, I really like the Blue Pencil XL, so uh, Stable Diffusion model, which creates kind of anime, kind of cartoony feeling, because if you use hyper-realistic, for example, the realism engine, people might get confused if it's the actual character, but because it's hand-drawn, you are like, oh yeah, it's probably that guy. You are also limited to use the prompt guidance and quality and details. But just to check if this prompt actually worked, I created another description of a completely random person, a 50-year-old businessman in beige suit and short pink hair. And I was able to create a story. So this lady was running down the office building until she looked at her watch and she realized that she's way too late. But that didn't stop her and she started running even faster. She arrived at the place, but it was already closed. She was sad and frustrated. So as you can see, uh, all of the images are more or less consistent. We have a woman with beige outfit with the same eyes, same hair, more or less, which is exactly what this prompt was supposed to do. So now you know how to create your own stories with your own characters.